Hi, good day, watchers, and welcome to another um, update today. I, I did an update earlier, but I thought it was as fat as I do, like, two different updates. So, I, so, I, so I got some stuff from um, Heats and V earlier on. And I thought it was a well, I might as well just do two different updates. One that I've got from the post, one from the stuff I've got from, um, from Heats and V. So, the first film I'm going to start with is a film that stars... first thing I got was a film that stars Adam Driver. It's a, it's a dinosaur movie. Uh, from the writers of Quiet Place, 4K of course, film called 65. 65, this film actually saw the trailer, was like, actually it was like a fun move, dinosaur mover. After a catastrophic crash on an unknown planet, pilot Mills, Adam Driver, quickly discovers he's actually straight on Earth. 65 million years ago. Now with only one chance to rescue. At rescue, Mills and only survivor, Kua, Adriana Greenblatt, must make their way across an unknown terrain riddled with dangerous, fearsotic, fearsotic creatures in an epic fight to survive. From the writers of The Quiet Place comes the 65 Skyfire thriller produced by Sam Raimi, Deborah. The Bleeding, um, Zahad, is in Scott Beck, Brian Woods. The, okay, special features, deleted scenes, create the world of 65, primordial planet, final showdown, concepts to screen, and more. Released by Sony Pictures, um, 2023 this film was, so it only came out this year. And region B, region, region 12, um, I don't know how long this film's on for, 2 hours maybe, I don't know, sometimes it'll show you, sometimes it show, show. so anyway, this film that I saw the trailer, and it looks like a good dinosaur maybe, it's supposed to be quite scary actually, certain parts, um, I like Adam Driver, he's a good actor, um, I like him in Star Wars, Pain, Kyra. I like to miss Kyra. I mean, I like the uh, sequel of them in. They're not perfect, but you know, they're still an enjoyable movie. Piece of action, science fiction stuff, and um, the sequels were. They're not perfect, like I say, but they're not as good as the original movies, but you know. Well, this is a good actor. He's been in some really good films. Um, I just suppose I've not seen many of his films, though. I know he's been in quite a. Yeah, um. So it starts with Alan Driver, and um, it's film science, you know, science fiction, dinosaur, you know going back into the past type of movie but yeah uh, so 65 on 4k and then I got um, a film that stars Tom Cruise directed by Spielberg of course um, film called War of the Wolves on 4k it's a good film by the way one of the three of us I do like this one I feel the original one I would say I feel the 50s movie but this one's pretty good uh, I Iconic star, a legendary filmmaker, and an all time Skyfire classic comes together with spectacular results in the War of the Worlds. Tom Cruise stars as a Ray Ferrier, an ordinary man who summons extraordinary courage to protect his children when a global army of human population. I mean, army of alien invaders set, that set their sights on. And devastating war machines upon Earth and the entire human population. The mastermind, direction, multi Academy Award winning filmmaker, Steven Spielberg, dazzles the eye, touches the heart of this stunning adventure based on the original story. H.D. Wells. So it comes with a special feature on Blu ray. The visit to the invasion, H.D. Wells Legacy, Steven Spielberg and, Spielberg and the original War of the Worlds. Characters of the family unit, privatization, production diaries, design the enemies, tripods and aliens, scoring war of the woods, we are not alone, galleries, virtual teaser, HD, decent features, police by Paramount, um, Amberlin, uh, two hours is it, two hours, I've seen this film quite a few times, I still don't know, remember how long it was on for. Uh, but this is a film I like actually, it's not one of Spielberg's best movies, 
alien movies. I mean, that has to go to E.T. of course. Um, but this is a film that I do like. I think it's a really good, um, really, you know, updated version of the story. And they've done, like, they've done more after that, but this, this one I think I like more than them, them ones. But the original one was one of the best. The 50s film. It's, it's got, I've got that one. got that in 4K too. Um, but this film was actually pretty good. Just what they do with the humans and stuff. It's like, oh boy. Um, so yeah, good film. Um, what was 2005 was it? 2005, so yeah, on 4K. And finally, and um, finally, The Rock has come back. Um, so I bought a, a DC movie, of course. It, this, they did that one years, um, years and years ago. It was, directed, it was supposed to be directed by Zack Snyder, but so it happened, it, it, yeah, so it happened personal reasons and uh, Josh Whedon took over and then he directed the, I got that one on 4K, but I thought to myself I'll buy this one, the better version on 4K. Uh, Justice League, Jack, Zack Snyder's first, this one was actually pretty good, I really like this one. And uh, they put a lot of stuff in this film. This film's like on for like four hours, is it? Four hours of action, all that stuff, so yeah. Uh, director, um, what is it, Warner Bros. DC. In Zack Snyder's Justice League, determined to ensure Superman uh, ultimate sacrifice was not in vain. Bruce Wayne as Lion's Force aligns the Force forces with Diana Prince who plans to recruit a team of metahumans to protect the world from an um, approaching threat of catastrophic proportions. The task proves one more more difficult than Bruce imagined as each of their crews and must force the demons of their own past to transcend that which that which has held them back. Allow them to come together. Finally, for former and Sentinel Day League of Heroes now united Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Yeah, maybe too late to save the planet from. Maybe too late to save the planet from Steppenwolf, the Sad and Dark Side and their dreadful intentions. So it comes in special features, but not not much. I thought they would have added the uh, making of and stuff, special effects and stuff. Road to Justice League, director Jack Snyder reflects on his treasure of films in the DC Universe. 242 minutes, it's a long movie, it's a long film. But that's the good thing about it. I remember when I watched it, I really enjoyed it, I thought it was so good. It was, it was really good, I mean, they put a lot of stuff in it. Um, I heard that Warner Brothers regretted doing this, which I find that really strange because I think to myself, I find that really, really funny because it's like, you've made one of the best, com you know, one of the really well made comic book films back in the original one, you and you regret doing this one. I mean, um, yeah, it's a strange one because you think it's better than the one they did before, but they regret this one, which is odd. Um, so, yeah. I did actually enjoy the last one they made, the 20, was it 2017 the last one, the 20, early, 2016 or 2017, the uh, Josh Whedon one, I enjoyed that one, I didn't hate it, but then when you watch this one you think, ah oh, that's more like it, yeah, but yeah, I, love, I like Wonder Woman the cover too, that's great, Superman is black outfit too, cool, um, yeah really good, really good, really good film, especially then you got that, yeah, so yeah, awesome, Justice League on 4K, the Jack Zack Snyder version, of that film too. All right, action movie pay time. So we got for well, 65, of course. Not seen it yet, but I like dinosaur movies. Jurassic Park, one of my favorites. Uh, Tom Cruise is in War of the Worlds on 4K, and of course, Justice League on 4K with Zack Snyder on. So yeah. Uh, so many people. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go off now for a bit. Uh, I guess I thought to myself, well, we're going through time today. I gotta go somewhere. I might as well pick some stuff up in the first today. And uh, I, I was there. I was there for a long actually. I was, yeah. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go off now for a bit. Um, alright, I'm gonna go off now for a bit. People, remember to go to Richard Bushy Prime and gaming of course. Uh, remember to go to my channel. Um, definitely looking forward to watching that one, that one again, and of course that one again. So yeah. Uh, so remember to, remember to hit that like button and take the go subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. If not, then go away and leave me alone. And thank you very much. And um, let's go and um, let's get the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Very, very much. And, um, and thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.